Hey Mazer, welcome to the Pride. I'm Danny Chesler and this is the final episode of the Pride this year. So we will have a lot of end of year information. To all seniors and anyone transferring schools, you need to back up your Google Drive. After next week, your Mesa account will be deactivated, so you will, you will need to transfer all your files to another Google account. The process is easy, um, especially if you already have a personal Google account. If you don't have one, they're free, so make one. Um, make sure you're logged onto your Mesa Google account, um, and then click on your photo in the top right hand corner and then select manage your Google account, um, navigate to the data and personalization page and select transfer content. From there is a fairly simple um, and intuitive process to move all your files. Please note that if you're part of a shared, shared drive such as the print com or student council, uh, those files will not be transferred as they're owned by the group manager. Are you interested in joining Dennis? Coach Tim has some great plans for the tennis team this summer, both in person and virtually. Even if you're on the fence about joining the team, you can still reach out to him for more information and updates. You, you can reach Coach Tim by emailing timothy.smith at mazaprep.org. Why not take a swing at it? <laughs> As many of you at Mazer know, each year at the end of the year, we put up a thousand photos on the main hallway. This year, sadly, we cannot do that, but we did not forget about it. This year, we are uploading them to our Wix site, which is printcom.wix.com slash photos. And there you can view all of them and order them off of there. That way, you can still have the digital version and you can still have all the photos that you planned on buying at the end of the year. Any personal belongings, whether they be left in a classroom, in a locker, in the cafeteria, or somehow in the main hallway, uh, they're going to be thrown away. Unless you call the office on Monday between 10 and 2, um, or else it's going to the dump. Simple as that. Your books are finally here, so this is how it's going to work. On Tuesday, June 2nd, you can come to the school between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to pick up your book. We'll be set up as a uh, drive through in front of the school. Uh, just pull up in your vehicle and we'll hand you your book. If you have not yet bought your yearbook, they'll be sold in the front office as a first come, first serve basis. Um, we were also able to sit down with our yearbook editors and talk to them about the whole process of creating the yearbook. The yearbook really doesn't ever have a beginning and an end. It's almost like a continuous process. And we started last maybe April or May. So as soon as we finish this year's yearbook, we'll be working on coming up with ideas for the next year. We looked through yearbook, previous yearbooks and other schools' yearbooks. Of all different types of themes and design elements and color palettes. In the, during the summer, we went to Gerber's cabin and we just spent I don't know how long it was. It was like a week or maybe just a weekend where we just talked about, um, we just thought about the yearbook theme and then the design and what we, like what our goals were and stuff. Like our biggest goal is trying to make everyone feel like they belonged here. We wanted like a bold, clean design that also had um, like a modern aspect. Mazer, Mazer's yearbooks have always been very traditional looking. We wanted to go with something that's a little bit more exciting for this year because it's 2020 and obviously that's been a very exciting year. We're always trying to make Mazer a happy place, a positive place. And I think like the year, this yearbook theme like 
really like shows what Mazer is and how like what a cool place this is. I think as a team our goal was to create something that had never been seen before with our yearbooks. And then we also wanted it to be like a positive feedback so people would think positively through the year. We all had spent like 30 minutes or an hour um, just writing down all the ideas that came to our mind just to like I don't know get everything out and then a, there has to be like one good one and then it was actually just like a f joking caption that Cody had uh, written for one of his um, like design ideas and we were like that actually that actually works one of one of the editors I can't remember who just kind of flippantly put down bigger than ever as one of the theme ideas and Gerber looked at it and she's like, well, what if it was better than ever? And then we all kind of had this moment where we just sat around the table at Gerber's cabin and we were like, yeah, yeah, that works. I think we should do that. With like this theme, it's like everyone makes up Mazer and that's what makes Mazer so awesome. Before I go, I want to say thank you to all the amazing teachers and wonderful administration at Mazer for this year. Thank you to Mrs. Ellis for her constant caring and her wonderful leadership, to Mr. Simmons for always putting students first, and to Mr. Norris for providing us with many opportunities. And I'd also like to thank all the amazing teachers at Mazer who have brought me and this, senior this year's senior class to New Heights and who have led us to the next part of our life. So thanks for watching, Mazer. Um, it's been wonderful. I guess we'll see you next year on the Pride.